Ooh, Jessica, you got me fired up. All right, let's go back to the phones. Let's go to Stephanie in Richmond, Virginia. Stephanie, good morning. How can I help? Hi, good morning, John. Thanks for taking my call. Thank you for calling. Absolutely. Um, so I wanted to call and get your opinion. Um, my father um, just passed away. It was, uh, I'm so um, sorry. In a sh- Thank you so much. Um, it was an estranged relationship for about um, 15 years, and um, right now he's survived by um, his father and two brothers, and both all of them have very, very bad financial situations. Hmm. Um, so at this point, there's really nobody except for me to pay for a burial, um, and I'm just not sure that I really want to, and I'm kind of looking for guidance on how to how to go about thinking about this and deciding this. Oh, thank you so much for the call. First and foremost, man, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, even a strange yeah. relationships and messy relationships. There's just something about when our mom and dad passes away, right, that hits us in our guts. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so absolutely. why was the relationship estranged? So he and, and my mother um, got divorced when I was about five years old, and um, it was due to alcoholism and drug use, um, and then he just never actually um, made it past that and unfortunately passed away due to those circumstances. Um, and all, all of those elements are present in the other family members' lives as well. So it's really it's a bad situation with all of them. Um, and unfortunately, my father passed away from it. So we've spoken maybe three times in the last 10 years um, for just a couple minutes at a time. So the the way I first and foremost, uh, let me give you a couple things here. I'm kind of stumbling over my words here a little bit. First and foremost, mm-hmm. you've got no obligation to pay for anything. Okay, um, mm-hmm. I want you to. There is no rule. There's no hard and fast um, character issues here. If I mean, he gave up his right to be a dad. He left you as when you were five, and um, he spent most of his life in devotion to drugs and alcohol, and other things. And so there mm-hmm. is no. Um, no requirement that you pay for this, right? The way I like to look at these situations is a saying that I heard years ago and that has stuck with me across a number of different issues, which is not by my hand, but in my lap. Meaning mm-hmm. there are a number of things in my life that I have to deal with that I didn't cause, that aren't my fault, that I technically don't have a responsibility to deal with, but they are in my lap. Um, and I didn't... Um, hit a guy on the side of the road, but he's bleeding. He's in the right thing for me to do right now is to help him up, right? The thing that I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight unless I don't do it. And so the question mm-hmm. you have to ask yourself is five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, or 30 minutes from now, what is, who is Stephanie? What is the character of Stephanie? Um, and are you a person that would step in if somebody at your local church needed some help to pay for a, a funeral? Um, or are you somebody that would, would, pitch in five years from now and help a brother who's struggling. You just got to ask yourself that and what you're going to be able to sleep with and not sleep with. Um, and <laughs> that that is the character question. That ends up um, dictating a lot of my present day behavior on uh, not I'm angry right now, but who do I want to remember myself as years from now? Mm-hmm. And so do you have little kids? I do. Yeah, I have, um, I have a six week old and a two year old. Did they ever meet their granddad? Uh, my two year old did one once. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did that go? It was okay. Um, it, he, you know, wasn't overly involved, but he was happy to see, mm-hmm. um, and meet my son. So what do you want to do? <sighs> um, I don't, I don't know. I think, you know, I'm, open to probably paying for something simple and, and helping out in that regard. Um, I just, I might be maybe a little overly pragmatic, but it's hard for me to really see um, what purpose it would serve um, at this point, which with him already being gone, it doesn't actually help the, the reconciliation there or the relationship. Um, but in the same way, I don't want to seem cruel or to, um, you know, violate my own character and regret that later. Yeah, and I, th- I think thinking about reconciliation t- as a as a mm-hmm. two sided way, you're right. He's passed away. 
Mm -hmm. what a ceremony can do in the grieving process, even in a painful grieving process. How, again, however big, small, medium size a ceremony there is, right? Mm -hmm. um, even if it's a the least expensive cremation in a tiny urn that you deal with on your own. Um, this, the reconciliation comes from your side. It, it gives you a process to set the bricks down. It mm -hmm. gives you an opportunity to say, you can't hurt me anymore. You can never hurt my grandkids. You can't abandon me anymore. And in my last moment, I took the high road. I forgive you. I'm setting this stuff down. And I'm going to be the mother. I'm going to be the parent. I'm going to love my kids. I'm going to love my husband. I'm going to love the people close to me like you never did. And then you're going to mm -hmm. set that stuff down and then you're going to move on. And again, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you have to pay for a funeral. It absolutely doesn't. You can do that with a letter to yourself in an open field somewhere in Nebraska, for all I care. Um, mm -hmm. What I don't want you to do is let your anger and the short-sightedness and the – it doesn't have an immediate ROI. It doesn't solve stuff right now. I don't want that to pain you five years from now and ten years from now and you think, man, for a 1000 bucks, for 500 bucks. I don't, I don't know how much uh, these things cost anymore. Um, for 2500 bucks, I could have taken the lead in my family once again as the only one who's not an addict, as the only one who sticks around, as the only one who does their commitments. I paid for dad's uh, small little get-together. I bought the cheese platter, and I got a minister in to say a couple of nice words. I did the right thing. I honored my dad even when my dad didn't honor us. And then I put those bricks down, and then I got about the, the hard work, the – challenging work of moving forward, right? Of living into my family, my partner, and making sure that we're all on the same page moving forward. So that's totally up to you. There's not a right or wrong here. You don't owe the man anything. Um, if I'm in your position, I would pay for it. Um, I would find the money. I would pay for it because it's at this point, it's about my character. It's about the, the man I want my kids to see me be, not by my hand, but in my lap. Um, and I'm going to, that's the way I would handle it, Stephanie. So thank you so much for the call. That's a hard, hard one.